everyone. Today we will discuss about the myasthenia gravis. Now first of all what is myasthenia gravis? The myasthenia gravis is actually an autoimmune disease of the neuromuscular junction which is caused by the antibodies to the cholinergic receptors. Now over here as you can see in this diagram this is the neuromuscular junction okay and over here these are the cholinergic or the acetylcholine receptors as you can see over here. So normally what happens the acetylcholine which is released from the presynaptic area actually gets bind to the acetylcholine receptors on the postsynaptic area and because of the binding of the acetylcholine to the cholinergic or the acetylcholine receptor present on the postsynaptic membrane this channels basically opens and the sodium ion enters inside the postsynaptic area right? so this process occurs in normal individuals but what happens in the patient suffering from the myasthenia gravis auto antibodies or specifically if we can say IgG antibodies or IgG auto antibodies develops against the receptor of the acetylcholine as you can see over here now these auto antibodies basically prevent the binding of the acetylcholine with the receptors or acetylcholine with the cholinergic receptors or they destroy the receptors so either this autoantibodies will prevent the binding of the acetylcholine with the cholinergic receptors or these autoantibodies will destroy these receptors so as because of this what will happen this presynaptic membrane is actually normally releasing the amount of acetylcholine over here but even after these the receptors won't be able to bind to their respective acetylcholine right and so this postsynaptic area won't be able to execute its action and so the impulse is not generated resulting into weakened muscular activity or contraction now what are the symptoms commonly seen in the myasthenia gravis so over here slow and the weak muscular activity and contraction are seen because of the defective neuromuscular activity. Also quick fatigability is seen in the patient when the patient attempts repeated muscular contraction or repeated muscular activity. Also there is weakness and the fatigability of the arms and legs are seen in the myasthenia gravis patient. Double vision and the droopy eyelids due to the weakness of the ocular muscles are seen in the patient. Also there is difficulty in the swallowing due to the weakness of the throat muscles. Also there is difficulty in the speech due to the weakness of the muscles of the speech. And also in the severe condition there is paralysis of the muscles of the respiratory system. As you can see over here there is paralysis of the diaphragm. The main muscle of respiration especially of the inspiration it is the diaphragm right. So as because of the paralysis of the diaphragm, the patient mostly dies in the myasthenia gravis. Now what are the treatments of the myasthenia gravis? Now myasthenia gravis is actually an autoimmune disorder. So treatment of it is actually difficult but we can cure some kind of symptoms over here. So the myasthenia gravis is actually treated by administration of choline esterase inhibitors. Okay and these choline esterase inhibitors are the neostigmin and the pyridostigmin. Now these are the choline esterase inhibitors. Now first of all what is choline esterase? Now choline esterase is actually an enzyme which actually destroys or degrades the acetylcholine which is present in the uh, space between the presynaptic and the prosynaptic membrane that is the synaptic cleft. So whatever the amount of acetylcholine present in the synaptic cleft is degraded by the choline esterase enzyme. So these uh, neostigmin and this pyridostigmin are the choline esterase inhibitors. These drugs basically inhibit the choline esterase enzyme which was degrading the acetylcholine. Okay and so now the acetylcholine remains in the synaptic cleft for longer period of time and the acetylcholine can bind with this receptor because it is staying for long period of time. So this was all about the myasthenia gravis. I hope you understood it well. Thank you so much.